connection. Hello everybody, I'm Monkey Canning and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up the all new Performance Cue Board. To start with, click on your inventory, drag the box to the ground, right click the box and choose Open from the Pie menu, and then when the contents load, hit Copy to Inventory. Keep the textures that pop up, as we'll need those later. Delete the box. And from the subfolder that was just created, drag the Performer Cue Board onto the ground. Give that a second to res. Grant the debit permissions. Right click on the board. Choose Edit from the Pie menu. Turn the board around so that we can use it. Whoops. Okay, now we need to keep it in edit mode. First thing we're going to do is set the group, which we do on the general tab under where it says group. Hit the set button and then choose the group that you want to set the board to. Now, this is the board, the, uh, sorry, the group that you want the board to give information about and a group joiner to. Okay, once you've done that, click on the contents tab double click on the admins menu. Now the admins are people who have special control over the board and the ability to remove other people's names. So you don't need to add your name in here but you do need to add the name of any officers uh, or hosts that you might have. So I can't spell Simpson so we'll put Homer Simpson on there. Once you've made any amendments to that hit the save button down the bottom left and then close that down with the X button at the top right. Next, go back over here, double click on the config card. <clears throat> Do not remove any lines from the config card, don't change any of the lines, literally just fill in the blanks uh, and change anything that's already there. Now, the add-on channel is the channel that the board uses to communicate with add-ons such as the contest board and the song counter. So punch in a bunch of random numbers in there. House Cut gives you the option to take a percentage of the performer's tips, so leave that at zero if you don't want to. If you want to take 10%, type in 10 as shown. The next item we're going to look at is the house stream. Now this is the house performer stream, so if you have a special house stream uh, which you know the majority of people perform on, enter the stream details in there. Don't, don't put anything in there if you haven't got one or if you have a default stream that, that literally just sort of plays music all day, so don't put that in there. <clears throat> Next thing that we want to look at is the default board message. The default board message will be displayed on the board when there are no singers uh, on the list or on the queue to actually sing or perform, or no performers. So on there you have a maximum of 9 lines available and a maximum of 20 characters per line. So if we take a little look at the board you'll see that it's one line in the note card for one line on the board. It mirrors exactly so you can see that we've got welcome, welcome, hit start button 2, hit start button 2. So we're going to put in here welcome to karaoke. Okay. Once you've done that, again, hit the save button to save any changes that you've made. And then hit the X button to close that down and finalize the changes. In a second you'll see that the board will change and the message will say welcome to karaoke. Okay. Now moving on, the next thing that we want to look at is the info button. The info button is a button that people press and it will give out all of the contents of this button down here. So whether that's information about your venue, freebies, gestures, uh, landmarks, note cards, whatever. So in order to edit that, what we need to do is to come up here and tick edit linked parts. When you've done that, click on the info button. I'll take you to the content tab up here, you'll see there's nothing in there. Uh, so what you'll want to do is literally just drag any any information that you want to give out, any note cards as I said, landmarks or objects, just drop it into the contents tab over here. Okay. Now when you've done that, simply hit the X button to close that down. We're almost done. A couple of other things that you can do is you can change the board's texture. So for example if you were a karaoke venue then open up your inventory go back to the folder that was created when you copied the, the items over and you'll see that there's a texture called karaoke queue. 
All that you do is left click on this, hold down the left mouse button, drag it to the very top of the board, and then just release the mouse button. And as you'll see, that will change the texture. Okay, the other thing that you might want to do is that you might not like the colour yellow. You might have a nice, I don't know, nice, nice red club. So in order to change the colour of the trim on there, touch the top of the board. A menu will pop up, like so over here. And the way that this works is you're going to be mi mixing colours. So you're going to be mixing red, green and blue channels. And the way that you do that is, let's say we want to add some red. Click on red. The numbers on here, the lower the number, uh, obviously the less of that colour you're putting in, the higher the number, the, the, the more of that, that colour will be in there. So if we hit 1, it's going to set it to a very strong red. Now, I don't quite want it red, so I'm going to add in a little bit of blue, which I do by hitting blue, and then selecting some of that, and that's now given us a, a kind of awful pink colour, as you can see here now. So as soon as you're happy with the colour and just play around with it, then simply hit the exit button and that will take care of that. And there it is, you're fully set up and ready to go.